Um, excuse me, Mrs. Walton, have you seen the time? bubble and honestly it's been such a lovely guys guys sh can you sit down sh sit down it's assembly I'm so sorry miss Bro i'll be back as soon as i can i'm so so sorry miss broom sorry anyway anyway i need to get back to school so let's get on with it what are we doing today we are going to look at our theme of the week with mr johnson then we're going to look at our learners of the week and some of your amazing learning then we're going to look at our Taskmaster Challenge to see who's managed to build an amazingly tall tower. And finally, we're going to have our notices and a prayer from Reverend Margaret. So, we've got so much to do and I've got to get back to school. So, let's get started. Over to you, Mr. Johnson. Hello, thank you, Mrs. Welton. And good morning to the whole JHN Academy family. So as you know from last week's assembly with Mr. Linden, our term's focus is dreams and goals. So this week we are going to be looking at setting our own goals during a global pandemic, which has been really hard, I know. So the first thing I want to look at is a clip from my favourite movie, The Lord of the Rings. So I hope some of you know it. Maybe you've watched the movie or even read the book if you're a really good reader. So for people who don't know about the Lord of the Rings, the first person you're going to see is Frodo and he has set an ambitious goal of destroying an evil ring. So at the point that you see him, he's deciding whether to carry on with his goal or give up and go home. But he remembers something that a wise old wizard told him called Gandalf and it spurs him on to carry on with his goal and complete it. So let's watch this clip. Now. I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. some really powerful words and I feel like we can all feel like Frodo at the moment wanting to give up and wishing that none of this had ever happened that we weren't living in a global pandemic that everything was back to normal and completely fine but we need to remember the wise words of the wizard Gandalf when he said that everybody feels like that that we're not going through this alone we are all in it together and it's not up to us to decide. We can't change that there is a pandemic going on at the moment. And Gandalf says that the only thing that we have to do is to decide what to do with the time that is given to us. 
So we can do that by setting small goals that we can achieve each day. So here are some great ideas of some goals that you could decide to do today. You could set a goal of tidying your room. Look, I've left all my clothes and my Lego cards everywhere. Let's tidy them up. Wow, all clean. Or it might be to get outside more often when you can. Or you could get a new hobby or learn some new facts. Hmm, interesting. So that was some really good examples of goals that you could set yourself today. But to make really good goals, you need to do three things. The first thing is to make sure your, your goals are specific. So your goal could be to clean your bedroom. It could be to help someone in your house. They are really specific goals that you could do. The second way is to make sure that you can actually complete them. Because if we look at Frodo's goal of going across the whole world to destroy an evil ring by throwing it into a volcano, maybe that was a bit too hard. Yours can definitely be a bit simpler. The third way is to make sure that you set yourself some time to complete your own personal goals. I know that it's really hard at the moment and you're doing lots of home learning at home, but make sure that you set yourself some time to go through and complete your own goals. So that's the end of this bit of the assembly. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Goodbye. Thanks, Mr. Johnson. That was so helpful. I'm definitely gonna take your advice and try and get out a little bit more next week. Now we're gonna move on to our learners of the week. Your teachers have been nominating some fantastic learning. So let's start off with Miss Tritton in nursery. Good morning, this is Miss Tritton from nursery. This week I am going to nominate Amira. Amira has done some amazing home learning this week. She's been practicing really hard with her letter sounds and her phonics. E, e, k, 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 k. She is beginning to start to write her name and make her letter shapes, which is fantastic and great pen control. Also, she's been doing some baking with her family and she's also been using 2D shapes to make bugs. She's been working really hard and I'm really proud of her. Well done, Amira. Keep up the good work. Hello, Miss Shadowway here. For reception St. Peter's class, I have chosen Victoria for all of her amazing work that she has been doing this term learning at home. Here are just a few pictures of what she has been doing. Keep up the good work, Victoria. Well done. Hello, it's Miss Thomas and our Learner of the Week in St Anne's is Jake for his amazing work in phonics and trying really, really hard with his tricky words. Well done, Jake. Hello everyone, it's Miss Lamb here and I've got our Learners of the Week. Now this week it's two girls, they work consistently hard and they share their lovely work on tapestry. And the first one is from Lincoln class and it's Aya! Well done Aya, she's dedicated to her learning. She has been practising her handwriting each week with Miss Bowden. Look at those lovely cues. She made some lovely muffins with mum and she wrote a delicious menu for Drip the Dinosaur. Bright green and tasty leaves. Look at those adjectives. Lovely menu, Aya. And here is a video of Aya counting in her fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, forty, forty-five, fifty. Good job, Aya. Who's next for Trinity? It's Harriet. Well done, Harriet. Harriet is amazing at beating Dad at our year one games. He made some lovely fossils the other week. Look at those beautiful footprints. She's been practicing her handwriting in the mud. There's a big S I can spot there. And in this term for history, we've been learning about Christopher Columbus. And here are some questions that she would ask Columbus. He also beat Dad at the Columbus game. Good job, Harriet. Here is a lovely report that she wrote about Mary Anning. Let's have a read of one of the sentences. 
I was born in 1791 in Lyme Regis. I picked fossils because I want to sell them to people. Lovely. What a great report on Mary Annan. Well done, girls. Keep up the fabulous work. Good job. Hello, everyone. It's Miss Bowden. In year two, up first, we have Christchurch. Our letter of the week is Isla. She's learnt so much about the Great Fire of London this week, so she decided to draw a beautiful picture of a background silhouette of the fire. Next up for New College, we have Logan MK. He's done some absolutely fantastic maths work this week. He told us that he worked out his answers using an array by counting the columns in the rows. Good job, you two. Hi, Mrs. Welton. So, uh, my learner of the week this week is Charlie in Wolfson class. So Charlie's been working super hard in school on all his sentences uh, that we've been doing in English about the anglerfish uh, for our uh, non-chronological report. Uh, he's been using adverbials, as you can see there. Uh, he's used adverbs like very, and I'm so proud of him. Um, he's used uh, formal conjunctions as well, which is such a hard skill. It's a bit like a fronted adverbial. And he's putting in extra words, he's rereading. Just so proud of his effort. So well done, Charlie. Fantastic work. Back to you, Mrs. Welton. Good morning, guys. My learner of the week is Amro. Congratulations, Amro. He's been sending in some brilliant maths and um, English work. So here is some of his English work. The anglerfish is a carnivorous creature um, with a varied diet. Scientists have discovered that this bizarre species consumes almost anything that strays into its isolated deep sea territory. However, they mainly eat fish, crustaceans and cephalopods. The highly developed mouth of its powerful predator is very large. Well done, Amro. Keep up the great work. Hi, everyone. It's Miss Wickham. I'm here to announce Keeble's Worker of the Week. Now, my Worker of the Week this week is from Year 3, and it is Doa. This is because she always does the work every single day and presents it as neatly as she would if she as if she was in school. She also marked her quick 10 every single day by using a video and she sometimes even gets full marks. Now this is an example of Doa's quick 10. She's used multiple methods to check her answers for some of the questions to, so that she knows that she's got the right answer before she even watches the videos. Fantastic work, Doa. She also does the guided reading every day. Now, she's always using because to prove her answers, to explain why she thinks that is the correct answer to the question. She also does her English every day. She's presented it so neatly and she's always remembering her capital letters and full stops. And she's even using the cursive handwriting. Fantastic. She's also, on top of all that, she's also been doing the extra lessons that we've been putting out. Now, here is an example of Doa's French from this week. Now, she's used lots of beautiful language and followed the video that Mrs. Huali put out. And her French is fantastic. Well done, Doa, for your hard work. I am so proud and impressed with your dedication to learning. Keep up the hard work. Good morning everyone, it's Miss Milton here. I've chosen to congratulate Alex this week in year five for the discipline and dedication that he's demonstrated towards his home learning throughout the lockdown. Alex has submitted all of the work that's been set and as you will see on the following slide, his work has been completed to a very high standard. Well done Alex, you serve as a fine year five role model. Keep up the fantastic work. Here we have an example of Alex's work. Alex has been working on a newspaper report <clears throat> and he's had to think about the purpose, why he's writing it, the audience, who he's expecting to read his report. He's had to think about the language features that he can use in addition to the opening paragraph and the purpose of that, the use of formal conjunctions that he can use instead of and and but. He's thought about the causal conjunctions as a result of, consequently, and he's thought about journalistic phrases to include. Well done, Alex. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the outcome of this unit of work because I can see that you've worked really, really hard. So, well done, Alex. In addition to completing all of his home learning, he also is a regular contributor on TT Rockstars 
and is weekly increasing his progress units on Lexia Core 5. So that's a brilliant achievement, Alex. Well done. Keep up the fantastic work. Hi everyone, Miss Simpson here and I am here to announce Somerville's Learner of the Week. So our Learner of the Week this week is Riley. And he has earned Learner of the Week for all of his brilliant history work that he has been doing. He found it a little bit tricky to get started and get motivated um, as the new lockdown hit. But he's done so well getting started with his history and a little bit of English as well. But I just wanted to share the history because it's something that he really loves doing and I'm really proud of his work. So in the first image you can see the research he has done on Queen Victoria because we are looking at the Victorian era in history and he has gone and done his own research and found out some interesting facts about Queen Victoria. Did you know that her real name was actually Alexandrina because I definitely didn't? He's also done a really really good job at seeing what he can deduce about Victorian life by looking at some of the images that we looked at in the online session. Well done, Riley. I've been really impressed with the work that you've been putting in and I look forward to seeing all of your history work for the next week. The weekly wonderful work in Exeter this week goes to prayers. Congratulations, young man. In year six, the past few weeks, we've been looking at algebra, which is quite a confusing unit. And prayers has worked really hard to use all of our different methods, including things like the bar model, to successfully succeed in his work. He's managed to solve word problems. He's managed to create his own equations. He's managed to solve simple one-step and two-step equations. This is going to be something that is so helpful for the rest of his time in year six. Not only that, but he's going to absolutely smash secondary school when he gets there, because he'll be a step ahead of everyone else. Keep up the excellent work, young man. He has also managed to absolutely smash our, ten, our quick tens every day. Each day, he works hard to make sure he shows his working, checks his answers so that he can confidently answer these questions. Keep it up, young man, and you will have more points than you know what to do with. This week in Oriel class, we would like to celebrate Maya's wonderful work. Maya has been working really hard at home on her maths and her English and lots of extracurricular activities too. So let's have a look at what she's been up to. In science, Maya has been the plastic police, where she has been talking about how scientists are very worried about plastic in the sea because it can be very harmful to fish and all other sea animals. So Maya has done this poster to raise awareness for that. Maya has also been reading a book about David Attenborough at home and she's followed our guided reading technique of looking up the words in the dictionary that she doesn't know the meaning of to help her understand the text. We were very impressed with this, Maya. Well done. Maya has also written a fabulous letter to the JHN students of 2030 and for a competition. This explains what's happened in 2020 and 2021. And Maya's been talking about how we are hoping for a brighter future and staying positive. In maths, in year six, we have been doing algebra, which we have found a bit tricky. But Maya's persevered with it really well and done a really good job at working out the value of those letters. We are really impressed with Maya's work this week. Keep up the hard work, Maya. Wow, you guys are amazing. I absolutely love seeing your home learning. I wonder who will be our learners of the week next assembly. So now we're going to move on. And last week, Miss Challoway challenged us to build the strongest, most creative, tallest tower that you could possibly think of for our Taskmaster Challenge. Let's have a look and see who's managed to complete their challenge this week. It's my tree house. It isn't just one house. A aquarium, an office, a kitchen, a panda house, a cat house. A battle arena, a dog house, a bathroom, a, a garden that is as high as the clouds, an ice room with polar bears, a calming down room with a water fill, a Pikachu house that actually has a Pikachu face. A science lab, a Santa room where Santa can deliver the presents to me, a Pokemon battle arena with a Bulbasaur and Charmeleon, 
some dangerous a lot of room a most spawning room a squatting room and a yeah. puffer fist room I have my sister's head room where C can sleep my head and the dog head and that is all uh excuse me Jacob I was just wondering where my room was in your tower no anyway let's move on we've got some notices I'm sure if I look around I can see some ah Miss Hopkins you've got a notice Good morning, John Henry Newman, and how are you this morning? Welcome to week six. So, well done to all the people that got onto TT Rockstars last week. I saw lots more children on there, so well done. This week's battle, as it's the last week of term, we are going to have all boys and all girls battling it out. So, who's in it to win it? You've got to get yourself on and get your points on. So, good luck, guys, and I look forward to seeing who's going to make it to our Wall of Fame this week. Have a good week. Thanks, Miss Hopkins. Has anyone else got any more notices? Mr. Cox? Mrs. Welton, I have an announcement as well, please. Um, this week, we are going to be looking at the children who've been able to complete the most time on Lexi this week. And some children are racking up so much time, it's amazing. But first of all, we wanted to say well done to every single child who has been on Lexia this week. We can see so many people have been working so hard and your reading will be improving so much. So congratulations to everyone. Now, if we look at our winners for Key Stage 1, we've got our three clues again. Our first clue is that it's a boy and a girl. Our second clue is that there is another winner in Year 1 and a winner in Year 2. And just like last week, one of the winners is in Trinity and one of the winners is in Christchurch. We need to say a huge congratulations to Alana in Trinity class and Ibra in Christchurch. Well done! Amazing work to the both of you and thank you for getting so much time on there. And then if we go to our Key Stage 2 winners. This week it goes to two boys. Both of them are in Year 5 again. Year 5 have absolutely smashed these competitions so far. And both of them are in Somerville. Now, our winners this week are Max and Kieran. So a huge congratulations to the both of you. This is going to set you up so well for when you come back to school. So well done for logging your time. That is absolutely fantastic. But again, we wanted to remind you to keep going. It doesn't have to be hours and hours that you spend on there. A few minutes each day will help you get so much better at your reading and improve all your comprehension, your reading, your vocabulary, everything. If you need any help, please contact your class teacher or a member of the year group team and they'll be able to help you as best they can. Keep reading, everyone. Ah, I can see Miss Chadway's got her hand up. Have you got a brand new Taskmaster Challenge for us? Yes, I do. I've got the next Taskmaster Challenge. Challenge 4 is to make an object spin for the longest time possible. You can try out lots of different objects and send in all your entries to me on Tapestry and let me know what was your longest time. Get your entries in to me by Friday the 12th of February at 3pm to be included in our Taskmaster video and to receive your certificate. Have fun spinning! And that brings us to the end of our notices. Over to Reverend Margaret for a prayer. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. I'm here in church to remind you again how much God loves you and loves everyone. And so shall we pray together uh, our parish prayer. So loving Lord, may your shining light fill the hearts of all who live, work and worship here in Littlemore. Amen. So have a good week and go and let your light shine. Amen. And that brings us to the end of our assembly. Guys, it's been so special. Thank you so much for joining me. We won't be back here next week because it's half term. But have a lovely holiday and stay safe. We'll be back 9.30 on the first Monday of term four, all the way from my kitchen into yours. Bye.